You're watching DIY Nate. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to tell me about your project in the comments. Hi, today on DIY Nate, I've got a really cool contraption that I've loved for years. It's called the IOTI. It sits in my car and I put my phone in there and it uh, attaches to the dashboard. Unfortunately, after a few years of owning this, the base is getting a little not sticky. And so I put my phone in there, an iPhone XR, and it will fall off the dashboard when I'm driving, which is just uncomfortable and not what you're looking for. So check with the manufacturer to find out what the solution is. They say you can wash the bottom, the underside here, and make it sticky again. So they said to just use warm water to wash it and then come back and let it air dry and then it should stick again. So we're gonna test that out. There are a couple components to this IOTI. One, there's a part here that locks it down so it sticks in place. But I believe the part I need to clean up is this underside here. So we're gonna test that with some warm water and see how it goes. Here we are in the bathroom sink, putting our IOTI under some warm water. We're gonna just let that flow for a few minutes and wipe it down a bit. Make sure we get the debris off of there. You can feel it, the stickiness and the particles going away as I wash it off. So feel like that cleansing factor is actually working, at least to get the, the base reset, hopefully. And we'll let it air dry, fingers crossed. It'll remount to the, the dashboard without a problem. So a couple minutes under the warm water there. And you can still feel a little bit of the stickiness, so that's good. It doesn't seem like it's washing it off. Don't want to make it too hot. But I think the warm water should hopefully do the trick. And I'm just rubbing my fingers across to make sure it Really is getting those grit, had dust and sand and other junk under there that was probably really not found it to have a good suction or a good stick. It's kind of something stickier underneath. And I think that's about all I'm gonna do there. Okay, I've set it on top of a beer box here, just propped it up. And I didn't dry it off with anything because the air drying factor is critical here so that you're not putting any fibers or anything like that on there. So we'll come back and check on it 24 hours and test it out. As you can see after I've cleaned this IOD off. I let it sit for a day or so in my garage and we're gonna go ahead and attach it here and hope that it sticks nicely. And we got it in position there. You just push it down and then there's a little latch on the front right here. You push it down, that gives it a little bit of suction and you pull the switch. And now hopefully we are stuck on there and it's sticking nicely. So that's how you get your IOD back to sticking naturally and it should hold in there pretty nicely now so i am good to go and i can repeat the process and you know a year later when it unsticks i'll just we'll rinse it off again and we'll start over so that's how you get your iod back up and running love this product it's a great little feature for holding your cell phone while you're driving and keeping your eyes on the road and your hands free thanks again for watching this diy nate video if you want to check out more come on by to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe have a great day